Off the top at 11, a gun linked to the deadly terror attack in Paris has a South Florida connection. That semi-automatic pistol was purchased through an arms dealer in Delray Beach. And now the question tonight, how did it end up in the hands of Islamic militants overseas? Local 10 News reporter Amy Batiri live now with her top story. Amy. Well, Calvin and Lori, it was a serial number that linked that gun to this company, Century Arms, and according to the maker, it was sent here in 2013. Now, so far, at least seven guns involved in the Paris terror attacks have been linked to a Serbian manufacturer, and that manufacturer says all of those guns were distributed legally, and tonight, it's not clear how they fell into the wrong hands. Thursday night, we saw people leaving the offices for Century Arms in Delray Beach, heading straight for their cars. Is there anyone who could talk with us about where that gun went after it was sold here? No one wanted to speak with us about the M92 semi-automatic pistol, like the one seen here, that ended up in the hands of terrorists involved in attacks in Paris that killed 130 people last month. The PAP M92 PV is an AK-style design in miniature, built for compact use. The M92, shown here in a promotional video for Century Arms, was manufactured at the Serbian Zastava factory. The manufacturer says they sent the gun legally to Century Arms in May of 2013. Where it went from here, how it ended up in Europe and in the hands of terrorists is not known. Calling from Channel 10, I just wanted to see if the company wanted to say anything about where that gun went. We called Century Arms, but an employee told me they had no comment. People who work next door in the same office complex were concerned about the path the weapon took. The fact that now two years later, um, we can't identify what happened, how it ended up where it did. Websites show the gun listed around $500. The manufacturer says the gun was originally semi-automatic, and it's not clear if someone later modified it to an automatic, letting it fire continuously with one pull of the trigger. The fact that no one knows um, is, is kind of terrifying. And a federal source tells me tonight if someone did send that gun overseas through legal channels, there will, of course, be a paper trail and documentation of that process, but we do not have that information tonight. We also reached out to the FBI and the ATF about their investigations, and so far, we've not heard back. We're live in Delray Beach. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News.